Всем привет, это проект «Открытая Россия». Сегодня у нас в гостях американец, но россиянин Джефф Монсон. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Скажите, пожалуйста, как у вас обстоят дела с русским языком? Um, я знаю чуть-чуть uh, по-русски. Моя жена учит меня чуть-чуть по-русски. Понял? Понял, конечно. Скажите, пожалуйста, а какие вы слова учили вчера? Квотера. Um, окно, um, две, door, um, А есть у вас какие-то любимые слова? Давай, like, давай, давай, давай. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, Патмушка, um, когда я учит мастер-класс, uh, я говорю, давай, давай, давай. Go, быстро, быстро, давай. <laughs> а как с русским матом вы его освоили? Блэт и пиздет. Два. Вот вы личность очень колоритная, очень харизматичная. Скажите, пожалуйста, как на вас реагируют русские люди? Вот тогда, сейчас, что они испытывают, ну, кроме страха? Um, well, you know, my, uh, my friends always say, and people ask me, like, why did you choose Russia? Why did you like, choose Russia to go do, to make your life, to work, have a child like this? Um, but I, I think Russia chose me, you know, Russia. Um, and it's not because the economics, it's not because there's beautiful places here. It's the people. The people like have accepted me and are, um, have treated me like family, like invited me to their homes, literally. In Russia, it's different than USA. In Russia, when people like make contact, eye contact with you and like talk to you, they're very sincere and they're honest and they, it comes from the heart and I feel like I'm at home here. Whether, whether I'm in Moscow or Krasnogorsk or two men where I have a little place or whatever part of Russia I happen to be, I feel that people make me feel like, Jeff, this is your home. Like you feel like we are sincere and we open our hearts and our homes to you. And, um, man, I Вы чувствовали it. себя так еще до того, как приехали в Россию? Чувствовали себя русским еще до этого? Not before coming here. Like um, when, I, when I first came here, I liked Russia. Like I liked the scenery. I liked the sights, going to the Red Square, going to St. Petersburg and going to the, the ballet and, and seeing the, the history museums. And um, I went, I loved, I loved going to Siberia and like being in the woods and, you know, and seeing the bears and stuff like, I, I really enjoyed this. But it was coming here time and time again, many, many times that I started feeling this connection with the people. And I realized, um, Like there was something about Russia, there was there was something that like drew me here, that made me want to come here like a magnet, and um, that's when like I started to like love Russia, and I love the people, um, and that's when I felt even before I got the passport, um, that's when I felt like I'm Russian, and then when I got the passport, to me it was like okay, thank you, Pasiva, like but I'm already Russian. It's just like you you just made it official, but I'm I've been Russian for like two years, so. <laughs> Совсем недавно вышла новость британского издания Times, где они разоблачили российскую пропаганду. Эту российскую пропаганду каждый день смотрят миллионы иностранцев. Мы подготовили небольшой отрезок этой российской пропаганды, как считает британское издание Times, и решили показать его вам, чтобы вы отреагировали и сказали свое мнение касательно этого. It's okay to laugh at showing a oh Russia bear, Russia with the con the, the communist hat on and like being silly and stuff like that. You know, it's a, there's a time you can be silly and there's a time that you got to be serious and um, you know making sanctions on Russia or blaming Russia, making Russia seem to be um, an enemy against free speech. You know, like like when I was coming over here, like people ask me all the time, they're like, oh my God, you, aren't you scared? I'm scared of what? Like, they're gonna put you in jail. For what? Why? Like, all the people running around killing each other. I go, no, this, like, what are you talking about? This is crazy. Like, there's not, they, Russia's more safe. People aren't running around with guns in Russia. That's, you're thinking of the United States. Есть ли у вас любимые русские песни? Виктор Цой? I mean, I, Виктор Цой is probably my favorite. Hairy man, tribulate, not to serve, sigh. 
Birdman, Tribulate, Nasha Glaza. Singer. Like, I don't know. I like uh, Le Bleu, Le Bleu, Bleu, yeah. I like them, and I like, I like some of their songs. Um, you know, they sing a lot of, like, meaningful songs. Uh, they have one about, uh, I came out to it about kind of the sadness of the Afghanistan war and how bad it was for the families of these, these soldiers. That's, uh, I like this song. Um, but uh, Victor Soy I like because he sang like from the heart and he sang about like regular Russian. He didn't sing about some crazy being in the nightclub and dancing. No, he talked about like living in Russia, like being a, a working man and, or you know, being a family or things that were problems or things that were good, things that were like real life. He sang about like this, stuff and this is why um it's real and like that's why russians appreciated him um so like i i like and i like his music so yeah that's probably my favorite russian artist вы 7 лет уже находитесь в россии живете здесь и за это время у вас появились какие-то русские привычки um like i take my shoes off and i when i go in people's apartment because that like in right in america uh, sometimes you do sometimes you don't but uh, like now I do every time and I try to bring a gift when I go to my friend's friend's house in, in Russia because that's like kind of a custom when you go for dinner or something to bring something. Um, I'm kind of learning like some of these customs. Um, I still don't, one of the customs I told you like uh, when you're eating dinner or something and then more guests come, everybody takes a drink of vodka shot. So I don't do this. Tea. Um, sometimes I drink tea but it's not sometimes. Um, I do toast, like uh, talk, like stand up and do a toast. That's like big at like together dinners. I do the banya. I do the banya like a lot every month and then go out in the, either the snow like now or um, like very cold water, like in the lake and then go back inside. Like, so I do this. So some of the, some of the Russian Things I do. Скажите, пожалуйста, три ассоциации с Россией, с, с какими словами ассоциируется у вас Россия, и почему именно эти три ассоциации? History. History is wrong, but like this country is made up of, like I said, a lot of different cultures, like coming to one, and there's a long history. The only social revolution in the world, in the history of mankind, there's been one social revolution, not political, social, social revolution, non-industrial, backwards Russia, where even Marx didn't think it could happen. It happened in Russia. So that's something to be extremely proud about. That's like changing the history of the world. One revolution had more impact on the world than any other event in the history of the world, that one event. The third word is uh, optimism. I think Russians have a lot of optimism for the future, and I have a lot of optimism for Russia. Um, Russia, like, given how much suffering has been in this country, how much, like, the, the revolution, the, the cold, bitter environments growing, you know, the coldness, the Second World War, or, 26 or 27 million people died in this country and now how the world's kind of turned its back on Russia and these sanctions and stuff. Russians have suffered a lot and um, despite all this, despite like all the hardships and, and stuff, they've, they've kept their faith and they have optimism for the future. They have faith that the Russian soul, the Russian, the Russian life, the Russian culture is going to survive. And, um, and and always be there and get better and better and they um a lot of russians like all they want to do like is be appreciated by the world like they want they feel pride in themselves they feel pride in the country but they want people in the usa they want people in europe they want people from around the world to say hey look this country's good that was in um Irkutsk, Irkutsk. yeah they had like the world champion sled hockey team so they were missing like a leg or miss, miss an arm or something like that but they were sled hockey and they had the world championship team so like in a different country like the you might not take okay like okay this is nice okay oh it's very cool very cool but there in this city or Kutz, they like the whole city was like so excited like Everywhere I went, people in stores, the sportsmen, the, the government's people in the Duma there, the counselors, 
the deputies, everybody said, oh, did you know we have the world championship, the world champion uh, sled hockey team here? Like everybody like takes so much pride in this. And Что не хватает американцам uh, из нашей практики? They need to like take some of the sincerity and um, and some of the generosity. Some there, there are some of I'm, I'm not saying America. There's not generous people in America. There are, but um, many Russians put the needs of the family of other people above um, material needs, above like financial needs. I think the number one lesson that America could learn from Russia. America, it's schooling, um, how much it charges for university, how much it charges for school, how much it charges for um, hospitalizations, for medical care. It put, it's putting money, it's putting business above the needs of regular people. Я так понял, вы имеете в виду сейчас американскую мечту. The American dream is bullshit. <laughs> the American dream isn't real because the American the American dream is is something designed is a, a slogan, a saying designed by those who are in charge, the the people who own everything that say if you work really really hard, you can uh, achieve whatever you want. Unless you're born with a family with money or an area with money or with all the proper things in order, it's going to be very, very, very difficult for you to achieve the American dream. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. It's possible. But it's possible I could win the lottery. It's possible, like, learn to fly. I mean, I guess it's possible, but it's not very likely it's going to happen. You know, this American dream is just is a way to blame people for if you didn't succeed it's because you didn't achieve the American, the American dream is for everybody to get it's just an absolute bullshit saying that keeps everybody like <clears throat> thinking it's their fault for not achieving this and um and the the it's like we're doing a race in America everything's a race совсем скоро будут бить куранты совсем скоро наступит новый год на национальный праздник россии который каждый житель Российской Федерации очень ценит. Мы бы хотели попросить вас обратиться к россиянам с поздравлением, с новогодними поздравлениями к народу Российской Федерации. Дорогие россияне, я поздравляю вас с Новым годом. Те, кто вас встречает, Иго, Симо и друзьями, и те, Kvitoi va nova godanyama noit na hodsta vadi at rodva doma. Shetoya vam drugi druzia snovam govam. So <laughs> I apologize for my bad, um, my Russian, but uh, hopefully it'll get better as I practice more. Um, but I do want to say um, Happy New Year, Snovum Golem, um, to all Russia, to all my friends, um, to all the people of Russia, my family. Um, this is a very important holiday. And um, my one advice to you, um, please, like, have pride in your country. This is like, I, I've come here from America because I love this country so much. And you should love this country as well. Take pride in your country. If you want to visit America, if you want to visit all the world, go do so. But take pride, like you're Russian, like you're Russian. That, that means something. That's like really important. Um, that is something to be proud of. Not that, but because you're Russian, go do something. Go make the world. It's not enough to just be proud that you're Russian. Go, go do something. Go help some children. Go help your neighbor. Go help a stranger. Go spread, like, when, if you go visit other countries, go tell them how Russia is, like how wonderful it is to be in Russia. Do good things, like go show people why it's important that they respect Russia. Show people why you believe Russia is so great because you're out doing like great things. You're out doing even the small things that you do, helping, helping your neighbor, helping someone move, helping, like someone having a hard time talking to someone, smiling at someone, um, giving someone 
10 rubles that's down on their luck. Something like that's helping people. This is, this is what makes Russia great. This is what makes Russia so fantastic. It's the generosity and the soul. I keep saying it over and over again. It's the soul of the people and that makes this country so great. So go show people the Russian soul. That's my advice to you. Go like you have the Russian soul. You were born here, but don't keep it inside you. Let it burn and let people see like how excited you are, how, how much you love this country, how much you love other Russians. That's more important. The Russia is a piece of land. It's, it's, it's grass, it's earth, it's lakes, it's mountains, but it's the people who live here that make this country so great. That's why I fell in love with this country. And that's why I fell in love with you. And that's why this country is so wonderful. So go help other Russian people. Go help other people, if, whether the Russian or not, go show like, this is Russia. This is what we do. We help people. We're great. We have a lot of pride in ourselves. And go show this pride throughout the whole world. So, Snovum Goem, this is my advice to you. I'm Jeff Monson. Thank you very much.